was a terribly day for work. Um, oh, um, I've just, it's probably about the fourth time I've woken up. Um, and, um, really weird. I had a dream about having seizures, which was really weird. Um, I'm feeling very, very sick, um, and my dreams, as always, were a bit, like, I didn't know if they were reality or, when I wake up I had to double check that it wasn't real, if that makes sense. Um, I'd say I'm definitely a three in pain. Um, one being minor or not very in pain, two being mild or I don't know, three severe. I'm in severe pain. Uh, it's my head and a little bit of my stomach. It's mainly one side of my head and I've got also got a headache. Um, I can't work out if it's a, a migraine. I had a headache, headache because I've had my head cut open, or what. Um, finding the temperature thing really confusing. I can't work out if I'm hot or cold. Um, but then before, I'd get really cold and wouldn't notice it. Um, yeah, I think... Um, going out to lunch, dinner last night was too adventurous. I mean, not that I did much. I didn't. I walked from the car, ate food, walked back. Um, I don't suggest you have many visitors because I think that's what's not actually helping. I think that the next few days I'm going to say, look, I don't want to see anyone. I just want to try and sleep. Because um, I think when you see people, it stimulates your brain too much or something. I don't know. It could just be me because I get overexcited. And I know that sends my pressure up. When I get overexcited, which means I'm... So the shunt has to be sensitive to other things. I don't know. I don't understand it all. Um, and they're definitely right about you're not cured within a week. Um, even though the staples will be out of my head within a week, it's definitely a longer process and you can start to feel the effects but please if you're having a VT shunt don't make the same mistake I was making and think that just because you can see better and you feel better that you are better because you need to rest and I'm going to take my own advice and I'm going to rest over the next few days. I'm going to go to Sarah's, I'm not going to be in control, I'm just going to just do nothing, which is pretty much what I did in hospital, I was sort of made, well not made to do nothing, but there was nothing really to do, whereas when you are at home there is things, there's things that I've tried to pick up, there's things that I've tried to move and sort and yeah, that's the worst thing you can do um i don't know if i'll make it to church i might just say to sarah when she wakes up look let's just pack a bag and go back to yours and let me just die um do you feel this is 
I compared yesterday to it being like a, the worst hangover ever. And like you've been on like a right bender. But it's so hard to describe the amount of pain. But it's, I don't know whether it's because I'm a wuss or, or what. I mean, I haven't got any drugs in my system. Technically, overnight, I had a bit of gabapentin, but I'm not on high pain killers. Um, which, in a way, I've done for a reason because I don't want to end up going down the oromorph situation. Because there are, I've seen a lot of people who have gone down that that route and ended up having to rely on oromorph or um, stronger pain relief. Um, I don't really want to. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say that gabapentin doesn't work for them. I mean, I don't honestly know if it does or doesn't. I just, I think it works for me. So therefore, it does work for me. Um... much that's how I, I look at it I'm going to try and do some more sleep I did actually sleep last night with only two pillows um, which I don't think I've done for over a year um, I even consider at one point just having one um, which I don't think I've ever, ever done At the moment, it's actually helping being set up, and that's probably because obviously um, the shunt is obviously doing what it's supposed to do. So yeah, hopefully I'll make another video later, and I'll be more alive. Um, while I'm at Sarah's, I'll record videos, but I won't be able to upload them, so you'll have to wait. I might have to put my earplugs in because the lady upstairs is going to wash them. How annoying. Anyway, I'm going to have some sleep. Good night.